The usual qualifier when it comes to our polls. A reminder that the day's action is not to take it into account. Instead, we look at the last week within the context of the season to this point. We're almost a month in now. At 10, let's start with the squad that's moved in thanks to some hot play. Even with last night's loss to the Mets, who we're about to hear about later in the poll, St. Louis is still 8-2 and two in its last 10. After tonight, they'll close out that three-game set with New York tomorrow. A San Antonian is at the helm of our number nine team, MacArthur grad John Gibbons once again has the Blue Jays playing well. One of the best teams in baseball just a couple of years ago, Toronto started the night six games over 500 thanks to a win last night against the Boston group that despite recent struggles has been very good so far. Back to the National League for eight, seven and three over the last ten coming in. The Phillies are in the midst of a three game set with a good Arizona squad. How good? We'll find that out in just a bit. At seven, the Yankees. You knew they were going to struggle all year long, or even for the better part of the season. Winners of four straight coming into tonight. Six, sorry Astros fans, consecutive losses before today's game to the franchise that shares the American League let West lead with you. Not a good look, even if it is early on. Remember, before that recent six-game winning streak, Houston lost three straight. Into our top five, got to go Milwaukee. What is it with National League Central teams right now? Like the Cardinals, the Brewers started the day 8-2 in their last 10, and even the Cubs have started to show signs of turning things around. The aforementioned Angels are four. Winning the series against Houston was big for them, considering they had just lost two of three from the Giants off the heels of a three-game sweep at the hands of the Red Sox. Arizona is three. They are one of two clear-cut choices when you ask who has been the best team in the NL through the first month of the season. 16-6 and six heading into that game tonight against Philly. The Mets are two. The other option in terms of who's been the senior circuit's best, cooling off a bit in the last week and a half, but right near the top of the standing still, they are two thanks to a body of work so far. And at one, it's a heck of a thing when you can lose three straight and stay at the top. Still with the best record in all of baseball, the Sox were 17-2 before that skid as they battled Toronto through a three-game set. Boston still reigns over our McCombs Ford West Major League Baseball Power Ranking. Tonight's MLB Power Rankings are brought to you by McCombs Ford West. Repeat customers are our proudest ranking on 410 West at Culebra. You're watching Sports Tonight, San Antonio's only nightly 30-minute sportscast with exclusive sports coverage you won't find anywhere else.